This is the classless act of Zeitgeist Vancouver. Awesome job. Very classless, man. You pay a lot of attention to a guy who doesn't exist. You're awesome, man. I'll be praying for you. Yep. Well, I put you on YouTube. What? What's the, your best evidence that what they believe in is false? Uh, there is no uh, Jesus at all. Um, Jesus, please. No, but what is the God. evidence? What is your evidence? There is no evidence. No, no, no. What is your evidence that Jesus is not real? That there is no evidence. <laughs> no, no. Is that difficult? That's that's not an argument. What is your best what is evidence? Your evidence? You show me no, no. Jesus I'm not. Himself. I'm not here to get my evidence. Give me your best evidence. I'm calling you out. No, you're asking. You have to prove to me that your Jesus exists. No, I don't have to prove anything. You know what? No, 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 no. You know what? You cannot prove the existence of God, nor can you disprove Him. Why did you burn witches? Why did you burn We don't believe in a flying unicorn or a flying spaghetti. Neither do I. I actually hate religion. I agree with that. But the fact of the matter is, they, what they're proclaiming is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. They, they're proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's all they did. 2,000 years ago, a man claimed to be God and he got crucified because of it. What's your best evidence that that's not true? Oh, you got that from Zeitgeist Part 1. Come on, man. Okay, tell me this. Tell me this. 2,000 years ago, people went from being devout Jewish people to being devout, persecuted followers of Christ. Explain that. Why did they die? Why did they die? Those persecuted Christians. No, Nero, Nero burnt the city of Rome. He burned the city of Rome because he couldn't kill enough Christians. He couldn't kill enough Christians. Tell me, did they die for a lie? Did they die for a lie? People don't die for lies. People lie, people lie because it's convenient for them. We know weapons of mass destruction they were never found. People, people are dying because they, they think they're doing what's right. But again, what's your best evidence that Jesus is not real? That there is no evidence. And the best evidence is that the Bible is okay. a condensed version of the Sumerian Bible. Do you believe? Do you believe that an effect can be greater than its cause from an intellectual standpoint? Yes or no? Just because yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Come on, Cliff. Cliff. Yes or no? Can an effect be greater than its cause from an intellectual standpoint? Yes or no? The long-term effect of the cause outweighs the benefit of the effect. I would say. No. It's a yes or no question. No. 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 An effect cannot be greater than its cause. Not the one you're speaking of, my friend. No, I believe you've more than had your day in history in court. Right. There's actually a wealth of evidence to support yeah. the office. Okay, so those martyrs were just lying. They deceived themselves and they continue to deceive themselves that Jesus is not real. Well, then who did create the heavens and the earth? Why do you use the word who? You see, you, you, you immediately beg the question by using the word who. Well, then how did it get created? Well, um, by a very slow process. Well, how did it start? Nobody knows how, how, how it started. We know the kind of event that it must have been. We know the sort of event that, that must have happened for the origin of life. And what was that? It was the origin of the first self-replicating molecule. Right, and how did that happen? I told you, we don't know. 
So you have no idea how it started? No, no. No, no, no has anybody. Nor has anyone else. What do you think is the possibility that there, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in, well, in evolution? It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm -hmm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. Wait a second. Richard Dawkins thought intelligent design might be a legitimate pursuit? Um, and that designer could well be a higher intelligence from elsewhere in the universe. Well, but that higher intelligence would itself have had to have come about by some explicable or ultimately explicable process. It couldn't have just jumped into existence spontaneously. That's the point. So Professor Dawkins was not against intelligent design, just certain types of designers, such as God. 